All right, welcome to Atheism vs. Logic. My name is Jeremy Spry, and I want to talk about how math and probability really, uh, you know, hurts atheism. It takes away this notion uh, that atheism is science and logic. Uh, it's it's faith-based, and, and I'll show that to you here. So in order to have life, you need enzymes. Enzymes are proteins. Enzymes are made of amino acids. There's 20 different amino acids. And so the average enzyme I've heard is 200 amino acids long. Now think about that in, in regards to a password. Let's say you had a password that was 200 characters long and you could only fill that you had 20 options let's say you could fill that with you know 20 letters of the alphabet each each one that would take a long time to figure out and so that's how it is in our universe that you know for life to have arisen by natural processes without a creator i agree in uh, amino acids appear naturally and uh, amino acids put themselves you know connect with other amino acids naturally but we're talking about a very specific code to get very specific enzymes so let's think about this. Um, you know, if you have, uh, if you've got, um, let's say a password that is four uh, characters long, four numbers long, and so you can choose between, you know, zero to nine, well then that is 10 to the factor or the power of four. And so that would be 10,000. You'd have 10,000 options for that password. Now that seems like a, you know, that would be very difficult to get. So let's look at that. So we've got 10 to the power of 4 equals 10,000. See if you can see that right there. Now, the interesting thing is, this is how many atoms are in the universe. 10 to the, the power of 80. So what that is, is, is 1 with 80 zeros behind it. That's a huge number. If we, uh, you know, that's just 10 to the 4, so 4 zeros. So since we're dealing with amino acids, we have 20. So I just want to show you a number. So 20 to the power of 9 is 512 billion. So imagine if you had a password that you could put, you could just use 20 letters of the alphabet, and there was 9, uh, it was 9 characters long. Well, it, that would be 512 billion options. So if you did one option every second, that would take you about 16,000 years to figure out what that password is or to try all the different options. But we're talking about 20 to the 200th power. This is an astronomical number. So I'm going to link a video to, uh, to someone that really explains this well. And he, he pointed out that if we took, you know, we imagine all these planets in our universe, because we're not going to talk about just Earth. Let's assume life could have risen from any planet in the universe that could harbor life, and then an asteroid or something could have brought it here. So he does the numbers, and there's not enough time in the universe. You know, the, the proposed age of the universe is, I think, around 14 point something billion years old. And there's not enough time to go through all those options. So, so the point of this video is, the odds are against you. And that's just an enzyme. That's not even life. That's just something necessary for life. Again, that's a, a building block to life. And so really think about this. Watch this video that I'm going to post a link to. Read the comments. I bet, I bet any concern you have is, is in those comments. And ask yourself, is this really probable? And really, man, watch that video yesterday I posted about uh, proteins and that proteins are these little machines and proteins are made up of code. So, so the odds are against you. If you're an atheist, I just want you to know you live by faith, not by sight. Just like a Christian, right? We believe God did it. And I know you guys make fun of us for it, but you guys think that, that time and chance can create anything. And, and we're trying to tell you the odds are against you. It is very unlikely that the universe, not just planet Earth, the universe could produce a functioning enzyme. So I care about you. That's why I'm making these videos. Um, you know, just be logical. Just be skeptical. Do the math. Do the science. And, and pay attention. You know, there's a lot of things people gloss over. You know, they say amino acids were, occurred naturally in a lab. Therefore, life can exist. Whoa, you're not even close. You've just got one letter of the of a, of a password. 300 or a 200 
uh, letter long password. So you're not even close.